Hey, what's going on? I'm Mike. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm doing uh, reviews, just reviewing random crap in my apartment. Uh, today, I will be reviewing the M50 gas mask, which looks like this. Uh, so this thing is what the issue to forces now. I think it turned over in like 2009, something like that. But anyways, this one's really fun. Uh, probably one of the best gas masks out there you can get. Uh, not that most people really need a gas mask. But anyways, it makes me nostalgic. I like having it around. And uh, yeah, protected from chemical and chemical, biological, nuclear agents, whatever you want. Uh, and CS gas, which is uh, surprisingly fun to be around. I kind of miss uh, going in the chambers there. Anyways, this thing, um, got a couple different features here. As you see, uh, how I have the folder right here is uh, for deployment. Um, so when you have it in the carrier pouch right here, the reason you set it like this is so that way if there was anything being dropped on you, you can just pull it out real quick, put it to your face, and there you go. Um, I had to teach a lot about the mask when I was in the Marines. Um, it was like one of our biggest classes because uh, everybody gets issued it pretty much. Uh, not that anybody really uses it. Uh, but there's a couple important features here that they don't cover. Um, so first of all, you can see these twin filters here, uh, opposed to M40 or any of the older models. Uh, you have two filters that can be taken off. Uh, if you're trying to do some tactical crap, you can remove one side so we can shoot better, get better optics, um, and just comfort. Um, also, if you're in a contaminated environment, you can just uh, you can swap them out. And yeah, you can toss the old uh, filters and replace them with new ones and be fresh and clean. Uh, these are the M61 filters, last up to 24 hours recommended. However, uh, however you decide to follow that is up to you. I mean, most likely you're not enlisted, so what do you care? Uh, these filters, they have activated charcoal in them. They're pretty much HEPA filters. So if you've ever replaced your air conditioning filters, it's almost the exact same thing. Uh, what's nice about this is that it has um, uh, yeah, an outlet valve right here in the front. So yeah, if you were to pop this off, you can see this little thing right here. So if you were to be infected with anything um, or had any contamination inside your mask, uh, you'd pretty much be spewing it out. Uh, the filters only work one way, so uh, that kind of valve release, um, you're protecting yourself, but you're not really protecting others. And uh, I can go in on an entire rant about how the paper and cloth masks don't really work, that you'd need something like this to protect you, but that's for another time and another video. Taking the filters off, we have these little valves right here. Uh, they pop up and pop down whenever you're wearing the mask uh, to let that air come through. Uh, they are one of the easiest things to disrupt the effect of your, of your mask after uh, your filters, because if these are stuck open, you're breathing pure, contaminated um, air, atmosphere, whatever have you. So if these are clear, you're going to want to get them replaced if you can. Um, they're just nice little rubber things, so mine are a little dusty here. Uh, just wash them with water, some very diluted bleach if you really want to. Uh, but just make sure those are good to go. Uh, one thing with the filters, you got this time patch here on the top. If this is blue, this means it's not protecting you at all. However, if you were to go in like the CS gas chamber, uh, you would be protected there. Just because, I don't know, the CS crystals are so big that you wouldn't have to worry about uh, them coming through the actual filters uh, themselves. Let's see. Oh yeah, and don't get these things wet. Because they lose pretty much all their effectiveness. Same thing with the mop tits themselves, but again, another class. One of the difficulties with the filters here is that it's easy to put them on wrong, so they're still stuck open. So if you just give them a little pull, make sure the thing's sealed all the way around there. This thing comes with a nice little uh, yarmulke here on the back, the head harness. It's really easy to tighten up. So you're going to want to do, um, how do we do it? It goes temple. Uh, anyways, I forget. It don't really matter. I have this all pre-adjusted. Just work on it on your own time. 
Uh, the big important thing though is that these straps right here, like they can stay stable, uh, but you're going to want to keep the cheek straps right here uh, nice and loose whenever you're ready to deploy. So the way that would look in practice, that's how I have it folded back here. Good old gas, gas, gas. As you can see, you can't hear me very well. This thing is very muffled, however, you can put a microphone right here on this spot. And you hear me a lot better, so I don't have to scream. Speaking of the mess is very rough. Doing classes in it, it's near impossible. You have to scream at your audience, which is very hard to do in a class of 400 people um, in an outdoor arena. Very muffled, very bad. Oh, one piece that's very important is the eyepiece right here. So I've got a clear one on right now. They have one that um, helps reduce laser flare. So if somebody's trying to shine a laser beam in your eye, you can put a nice little laser filter on there. Uh, they also have um, sunglass tint for it too. So if you're out there in like the desert heat or uh, desert sunlight, you can put sunglasses on without having to take off your mask. And speaking of glasses, they do make inserts that come inside uh, the actual mask themselves and attach to these little holes here on the side. So you can get a prescription for that. Um, you don't have contacts like I got right now. Uh, you can fit that in and see, which is important. Uh, if you do have contacts on, you're not going to wear it uh, going into a CS environment because the crystals will fuse to your contacts, which will fuse to your eyes. Um, or at least there's a chance of it. I know, uh, yeah, a lot of people like to play stupid games, so try not to go blind. What else can I say about this thing? Uh, compared to the other, ma other gas masks that I have, this is probably the most effective one that I do. I have a lot of ex-Soviet ones, and they're more cheap. Um, they have a be asbestos in the filters rather than activated carbon, so while they do trap all that nasty stuff, um, you're breathing in asbestos, which you don't want to do. Uh, it's also really easy to take off, really easy to clean. The components come right out which is one of the pains of uh, the M40, the last issue that the Army and Marines had. Uh, for those, you have to pretty much disassemble the entire thing, and it's such a pain to get back in. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a mask, I would recommend getting one of these from eBay, because the manufacturer, Avon, doesn't really sell to civilians. Uh, so unless you're law enforcement, or have one from the military, like I do, um, yeah, you got to go to eBay, or get one from a private seller. Uh, same thing with the filters. So if you're trying to purchase now uh, and you're probably going to be out of luck but there's stuff out there there's all kinds of luck uh, so that's it for the M50 if there's any other things you want to know about it leave a comment